Shalom, Israel. This is your brother, J.D. Nijah, coming at you with another message, quick one of edification and hopefully exhortation to the family of Israel, Yasharala, the children of the power. Before I get started, all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. How is the Heavenly Father? And the Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, and Yahweh Shai is our big brother, our Savior. And his name means he delivers because he's going to be the one that pulls us up out of this nonsense, upside down world. All right, I was, um, I'm just going to do a quick sit down because there's just some one point I want to make. And um, it, it follows with some of the other messages I've been putting out about um, <laughs> the hard truth about the difference between, at least spiritually, the difference between men and women. In this world, you can say whatever you want about how awesome women are and no one's going to tell you anything different. But... If you even try to peep about anything that um, would point out the truth about women as far as spirituality and basically reality, because reality is, is spirituality. Spirituality is the fact that you know Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and you are going to, um, <laughs> you know that this book that I read out of and uh, the other men read out of the 144,000 elect men that are pushing this word out right now. <laughs> That's a sealed fucking deal is at least from our perspective. And you, it will be your perspective too. Once that time comes, because there is no, um, there's no doubt. There's no doubt that, that book is telling us everything we need to know about everything. <laughs> and man, they really twisted us up with that plantation Christianity. And they turned everything upside down, right? So I see guys getting out of the water already. Going in. It looks like there might be waves. Saturday. <clears throat> Probably, it was three to four foot yesterday. I forgot my wetsuit. I... I don't know what's wrong with me. I hit my head too many times. And uh, the concussions are adding up, I guess. But um, anyhow, uh, the idea for the for the lesson came from um, Pastor Aramlob at, uh, he's not a pastor, he's an apostle. Pastor Apostle Aramlob from um, GMS Info Doc 12, I think it is. He does a, he does a morning message every day that's really good. He's he's on fire right now, and he's really smart. So his messages <laughs> actually come through really clear. And he's um he's been verbalizing it a lot longer than I have. So it's yeah, it's easier for him. And he put out a message about um how the how it's different for the Israelites. The, the way we are is different, right? We got we we got uh, spiritual juice. We got verve. We 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 do everything so much better. And there's a there's a spice there, right? That's why um Jake likes spicy food. He likes everything spicy. He he likes salsa uh, salsa dancing and rock and rolling and and all these different um, things that we're we bring the spice to this to this wicked place, and if it wasn't for us, these Edomites would be fucking crawling over each other in the bushes like animals. We're the only thing. We're the example of how to um not be a whatever a Edomite. <laughs> Don't do that. But they can't help it. They're meant for destruction. But that's not the point of the message. The point of the message was. Um, when he started talking about that, I, he, he was also talking about how we are the biggest nation on the planet. And that's 
got to be true. And the Bible says so. And then when you think about it, imagine almost, I don't know, probably, I don't even have an uh, answer, but when you think of the West Indies, that's, you know, the um, Caribbean islands, that's where all the uh, Benjamites are at. And then you go up from uh, Canada and come down, you have a sh crap load of Gad right there. And then you drop down some more, you have uh, Florida and the lower south, you have a bunch of Reubenites. And then starting like in the Arizona desert, California, Washington, all the way down to the probably the middle of uh, Mexico is all Issachar. And then you, you know, you bounce down from there and go all the way to the bottom. Plus Brazil is full of Asherites. And you go down below Issachar and you, I mean, in the, in the islands, you you also have uh, Levi and, and Simeon. They're the um, Dominicans and the um, uh, priests, the L Levites are on that one island split apart. Dominicans and, and Levites or Levites, however you want to say. It. So then you go all the way down to South America and you have Zebulon. Naphtali, um, and then Puerto Rico is the home base of our brother Ephraim, <clears throat> the Ephraimites. So then you go down into South America and you go all the way to the tip of South America. You have Zebulon and Naphtali. So you have 12 tribes taking up the whole of the Americas, just about. So I don't know what percentage that is. And then you have them spread out to the four corners of the world, the other Israelite foreigners, right? So there's a lot, a lot of spice in this world, and it's it's rising. The um, the poo-poo is getting scra <laughs> scraped off and thrown away. And we're, you know, Zion is rising and Babylon is falling. And that's what we're seeing. But the point of the message, man, I can go off in all kinds of directions, can't I? The point of the message is, is that um, it, this is the basic. This is the milk. It's milk. It's simple. That's why I didn't bring out any scriptures. Because these are things that are self-evident to us. These, these are things that are, if you look in the Bible and you figure out that the Negroes, Latinos, and... Um, Native Americans have to be the Israelites. There's, if you go through the Bible, there's no other way to those those people, those 1948ers over there. Those aren't those aren't them. Not even close, because it, it should be um, prophecies popping off, and and prophecy says that there would be people at, um, occupying our land that shouldn't be there, and that's why you're seeing that shit pop off over there because yeah, I was coming and turning those fuckers against each other. They're, they're fighting over land. That's not even theirs. Fucking hilarious shit, man. It's pretty funny. That's the stuff that's makes me laugh. The stuff that that's working for, for us, for the Israelites. But anyway, <laughs> boom, I'll get to the point. The point is you, um, you women don't mean shit really harsh way to say it but um the sooner you can take a bite out of that fucking sandwich chew it up and swallow it it's not that i didn't mean it that you're not shit because you're very important you're fair we we love our women we're just saying this world what i'm trying to say is this world has made you think that um that you're more than you are is well, is all it is, or less than you are actually. It's hmm. Come to that, eat that sandwich, Mister J D Nija. You're way more than what you what you think you are, and where you're your best is when you're giving your whole life to a uh, Israelite man. Just like the best men are giving their whole lives to Yahushai. You women, your goal is to give your best to a man, to die for a man, to to do whatever you can for a man, because there's no stories about, the Bible doesn't, it's not a story about women, 
sorry. <laughs> it's not a story about women like uh, the Catholic Church would like you to think, you know. Some more shenanigans. I don't want to go. I don't want to get mad today. So let, let's just leave it at that. How's that sound? All five of you understand what I'm saying on that one. So yeah, that's the point I wanted to make this morning. Is that um, the whole book is about us, about us men. But um, as a woman, if you can understand that, if you can understand that, then you can understand where your power is your power is with the man that's where your power is and Esau Edom's done a good job of um uh what do you what would I say depowering us un unpowering us powering us down that's what it is he has powered us down to the point where um we don't look, sound, or move anything like we would in our own natural habitat. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I like that one. We'd move a lot differently in our own natural habitat. And you women will move differently in your own natural habitat. This isn't your rest. That's the point I'm trying to make. Is we're, There's a lot of us and we're going home. And we're going to have a great time once we get there. But part of... Um, positioning yourself for the kingdom is to start now get on the path it's a it's a it's a crazy juxtaposition juxt anyway it's a juxtaposition of um you can't how do you say it you can't go anywhere unless you get moving And there's a shitload of reggae songs about keep it moving, moving on, move along. Um, and that's what they're saying is uh, once you're on this path, don't stop. Don't drop the plow. Don't, don't doubt and do the best you can to... Uh, to fellowship with Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai every day. So even if you're just listening to my message, you, especially you women, because that means that you're listening to a man, an Israelite man. I'm surprised there's not a shitload of women on here just because I'm so damn cute. <laughs> and I have a funny laugh. And I look like a little koala there. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm fun. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so, uh, having such a hard time attracting, uh, listeners. And, uh, all five of you are pretty loyal because I see you, I see my five or six, seven views on each video. But anyhow, I, I got to get out in the water. Um, I love spending time with you folks and with the Lord. That's the main thing. And to, um, remind myself what what it is that the book says and the book says that Israelite men are going to um, come back and rule the, the planet earth under uh, Yahushai and King David and I, I live in the book I believe the book so that's what we're waiting for for the downfall of this fucking place so that we can um, have joy and peace and rest and all that stuff that, uh, if you only knew what you're missing, we are missing so much. This place has, has not do it for, for an Israelite, really. It doesn't. You don't even know what you're missing. But anyhow, uh, that's it. That's the message for today, women. Your role, your role uh, in the kingdom is way different than the one you're seeing here. Just like our role is going to be way different. We're not going to be on the corner begging you people to listen. And we're not going to be on the on this on the loudspeaker saying, giving you a, a message like this. It's going to be everyone's going to pretty much know the rules. And um, you won't have to even see any um, any retribution 
that we're going to have to lay down on some of these other nations. You won't even have to witness it. That's for us to handle, you, you women. That's why it's so beautiful to just get under a man and have a rest. Because we will have to deal with some of this bullshit still. But we're going to be the ones that are <laughs> in charge. So being in charge and handling bullshit makes you actually feel good. See, what makes Esau Edom feel good is creating bullshit and then cracking you over the head with some other bullshit to, to create a final ending of a bigger bullshit sandwich. And that's all they do is make bullshit sandwiches. That's what, that's what we're doing here is eating a bunch of shit. That was profound, right? Fucking bullshit sandwiches one after another after another. I, I don't know how much more of these sandwiches I can eat. Anyway, I love you, Israel. All praises, all honor, all glory, honor and glory, and praises and glory and honor. Brach ta Yahweh, brach ta Yahweh Shai. Brach ta Yahweh, brach ta Yahweh Shai. Brach ta Yahweh, brach ta Yahweh Shai. Israel, I love you. 144,000 elect. You got this? One third? Hang in there. Shalom and Abad, Abad, Abad.